Hey everybody, I've got a very interesting story here, and uh, as you all know, I don't normally do stories about celebrities, but this one here is very interesting. NASCAR race car driver Kirk Busch testifies that ex-girlfriend is an assassin. Now, this reminded me of the Scott Stapp story where he claimed that he was a targeted individual and all that stuff. And the first thing you think when you read a headline like this is, is Kurt Busch in his right mind? Is, is he just making this up or what's going on here? That's Kurt Busch, and that's the girlfriend, Patricia Driscoll. According to this story, Kirk Bush and his girlfriend Patricia Driscoll had had a, a a fight or something at a motel or hotel, and it, this is what this was all about. But they had to go to family court, and Kirk Bush testified in family court that his former girlfriend is a trained assassin dispatched on covert missions around the world. Bush said Driscoll repeatedly asserted her assassination status and claimed that the work took her on missions across Central and South America and Africa. Everybody on the outside can tell me I'm crazy, but I lived on the inside and saw it firsthand. That's what Bush said. Bush offered up specific examples of her returning from miss missions sometimes with bruises. Once he said they were in El Paso, Texas, where Driscoll had left that night in camouflage and boots. She returned later to the hotel at which he was staying wearing a trench coat. Under it, she was wearing an evening gown splattered with blood and other matter. Driscoll claimed that she was a trained assassin who had killed people, including drug lords. Driscoll lives in Elliott City, Maryland. She heads two organizations, both of them based in Washington, D.C. One, one of them is Armed Forces Federation. The other is Frontline Defense Systems. And on that website, it says she spent the majority of her career in the narcotics and intelligence world. This is her uh, Wikipedia page here. It says business, business executive. It's got her also listed as an author. But when you scroll down right here and look at professional life, on October 21st, 2003, Driscoll testified before the House Subcommittee on Rural Enterprise, Agriculture, and Technology to discuss difficulty small businesses have in regards to contracting with the Department of Homeland Security. And that leads us to frontline defense systems where the operator meets the innovator. We click on the overview of services page, point and mobile surveillance, tactical equipment, logistics and armor, force protection, Force Protection 2, Dragon Sense. I clicked on Logistics, and look at this right here. Specialized Global Air, Sea, and Land Cargo Solutions for Government Agencies. Strategic Partner with a Fleet of 15 Plus and Long Haul Heavy Lift cap Capability. Strategic Storage and Staging Area in Baku for Operations to Iraq and Afghanistan. Operations to Middle East, Africa, Central, and South America. Armored vehicles. Classified programs. This company is based in Washington, D.C. Let's take a look at the personnel page. This one guy here uh, was responsible for formulation, presentation, and execution of the Department of the Navy budget. This next guy on the list, Chief of Special Projects Division 
Aeronautical Systems Center Reconnaissance SPO at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. This organization, also known as Big Safari, with its detachments and operating locations, is responsible for the acquisition, modification, and worldwide logistics support of special purpose weapons system as directed by the headquarters U.S. Air Force. This next guy on the list uh, is special accomplishment, accomplishments. He was a special agent in charge of ICE and established the Visa Security Plan Department of Homeland Security. This next guy retired from the National Reconnaissance Office Air Force uh, Air Force Space Warfare Center, Director of the Data Fusion Facility, Director for Special Projects. Uh, he was designated a super user for Joint and Service IW programs. He coordinated and led a teaming of the NRO, CIA, DIA, and SOCOM to work special projects against deeply buried underground targets. Last but not least is Miss Patricia Driscoll. Patricia has spent the majority of her career in the narcotics and intelligence world. While working abroad, many issues came up at home that brought her to Washington, D.C., where over the last nine years she has developed strong relationships in the House, Senate, and the White House. Her strongest allies are the Armed Services Committee, Appropriation, Ways and Means, the Homeland Security Committee, and the Intelligence Committee. This is a very interesting story here. This has been Unraveling the Matrix. Hit like, share. Thanks for watching.